Let's listen to the sound under the tunnel. How it sounds. Welcome back everyone. Today we have a 2016 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray with a stick shift. I want to say a big thank you to Leesburg Auto Import of Leesburg, Virginia for providing me this car. All the information about the dealership will be down in the description below, so if you're looking for a car, reach out to them. As always, we're gonna check out the exterior interior of the car, take it for a nice spin, and of course if we're able to do some 0-60 to 60 tests, although it will be harder to do it on this car, especially with the traffic right now, so that may not happen, but we, we will see. It's a very clean Corvette, got only 16,000 miles, so let's check out its exterior. It's definitely been a while since I've driven these ones. The one that I drove was an automatic and that was a long, long time ago. So I'm definitely curious to see how the manual stacks up against it. The kind of sound and smell you get from this car reminds me of like a NASCAR. The one that I rode in really gives me these vibes. So there's no back seat to explore here. So let's pop the trunk and check it out. Uh. There we go. There's not a lot you can put here at all. So don't expect to be hauling anything. Let's see. Um, let's see where the trunk. I think that is the trunk release. Is it? Yeah. Okay. So we have the engine right here. All right, should be good. as far as the features i mean there's there's not much to explore here you got the map uh phone bluetooth and you can hide the screen like this and go to the usb which i think is pretty cool let's buckle in and get started oh we got the compass not actually i don't think this one has the navigation does it yeah this one actually let's see on star nav yeah this one does not have that option okay um, all righty push down the brake and let's get started Love the sound, it's so cool. American muscle. Ooh. Do I love a good big block V8? The seating position here is actually quite nice. It's quite nice. Um, the seats are comfortable. The clutch and the gas pedal do take some time getting used to. They're not as easy to feel as per se in a WRX or something like that. So you have to be a little more sensitive with, with your inputs. But once you can get used to it, you're good. Oh, there's a good amount of sound here. Also, if you're claustrophobic by your nature, this may not be the right car for you because it does feel super tight, super small on the inside, like you're sitting virtually on the ground. It 
does give you a sporty feel, but it's not for everyone. I do like the seats. I think they're very supportive, very comfortable, nice and enjoyable seats. sound though the sounds incredible <laughs> oh man does this thing sound good and moving it's definitely um, a very tight experience like if you're coming from an SUV it definitely does feel really different here but there's lots of power and torque and a lot of sound too although this is a cool experience like it does sit on the road really well it's quite enjoyable. It's a different experience. Definitely a really different experience from your typical car. the way it holds the corners really nice well, let's turn around here and go back on the highway but the other way where there's less traffic all right so let's
This feels so cool. I apparently not even talk about my impressions that much because I'm so like shocked by this uh, Corvette. Like it's such a different experience that I'm used to. does spice things up the car becomes louder oh yeah see how she takes the corner Probably one of my only videos where I don't talk as much as I use, usually do because this is so freaking cool. German sports car because in, in a car like that you're gonna be having all the torque down below here all the torques are coming on around like 35 4,000 so don't expect too much motion under that and the nice thing before you engage the gear you can actually see which gear you're in so you're never in the wrong gear see like fourth and then you can punch it Boom. And it shows you where your uh, where your tachometer arrow was. And if you want to, for example, go into three. Oh yeah. It really starts to sing up there. <laughs> oh my god, that was awesome. It really starts to sing up in the higher revs. want to coast just put it in fifth gear sixth gear and that's it let's listen to the sound under the tunnel how it sounds Amazing. <laughs> Little 
totally, what a good sound. Sounds beautiful. We will try a smooth zero to 60. Let's see what we can get. All right, let's reset the draggy. Three, two, one. All right. Zero to 16, 5.3 seconds valid. I didn't do the full one eighth mile. Obviously I let go really early, but 5.3 seconds, that's with easing into the clutch with you know going very lightly on it, uh, not launching the car. We had no wheel spin and we got, we got a really good time actually. So that, that is very impressive, 5.3 is great. I'm sure with uh, a harder launch, you can do a much better time, probably sub fives easily. Assuming there's no rain. Anyways, what can I say about this car is I've highly enjoyed it. I love driving it. It's 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 honestly a great, great weekend toy, but this would not be a daily. Um, let me know what you think about this car down in the comments below. Would you buy one like this? Would you, you know, get something different? Maybe stick to a German sports car? or would you go for a classical American muscle like this? And one more question to you, my viewers, would be would you get this or the new uh, Corvette? Which one do you prefer more? And thank you so much for watching today, and I will see you all next time.